Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. Today's power or sailboat can have 8 to 12 or more holes drilled below the waterline called through holes. These through holes may be covered by a sea valve called a seacock and consider each seacock to be a three part system. The first part of this system will be the seacock. Make sure that your seacock has been listed with Underwriters Laboratory and you should find a capital UL stamped or embossed onto the seacock body or handle, each seacock must pass certain tests for corrosion resistance, vibration, hot and cold temperatures, and more. The most common seacock material used today, listed with Underwriters Laboratory, is marine bronze or marlon. Marlon is a carbon fiber and glass composite. To find out more about marlon seacocks, see the link below this video. Once a month, exercise the handle of each seacock. Move the handle from the open position to the closed position at least two times. This will break up any small amount of internal corrosion and help prevent the handle from freezing into the open position. The second part of your seacock system consists of the hose which runs from the seacock to the fitting. Check the hose for wear or abrasion and tears or cracks anywhere along the hose. Also feel the hose for soft spots. Replace the hose if you find any of these problems. The third part of our Seacock system will be hose clamps. Choose marine stainless for hose clamps. These will last much longer in the marine environment. Place two hose clamps on the Seacock side and one hose clamp on the fitting side. Now you can see how all three parts of our system work together to give you good integrity on your vital through hole fittings. Use easy sailing tips like these for safer sailing on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.